Hi, I'm Athena Calderon. I'm an author, I'm an interior designer, I'm a lifestyle expert and chef, and I want to take you through a tour of my home in Cobble Hill, Brooklyn. My husband and I bought this townhouse in 2015, and it was kind of not in the best shape. It's a Greek revival home, but it just needed a little bit of love, and I was up for the challenge to kind of overhaul and take over this renovation project. So here we are in my living room. Because we had come from loft living in Dumbo, the very first thing I knew I wanted to do was open up this space. Unfortunately, a lot of the original molding details were stripped away from the house. So I did a lot of research. I even went to some of my neighbors who still had all of those historical details. So we added the panel molding and the crown molding that would normally have been seen in the late 1800s in Cobble Hill. One of my favorite original features in the home was this medallion, so I knew I wanted to keep that and bring it back to life. Some other original details that I really wanted to amplify was this gilded gold mirror. It's just so dramatic and identifiable to a townhouse and the black marble fireplace. When I start to kind of build the design dialogue of a room, I always start with one piece. And in this room, that one piece was this very sofa. It's 1970s, it's kind of low and loungy and bulbous. In order to create some sort of contrast, I wanted to make sure that the table in materiality was completely in opposition. So this is sharp edged and angular and a harder marble material as opposed to this velvet. Cooking and design always work in tandem for me. I wanted to do something different, so I decided to do a square kitchen island. However, I was a little concerned that this big monolithic square was going to dominate the space too much and be too heavy. I made it feel a little bit more like a piece of furniture by adding legs and raising it off the ground to give it a little bit of levity. And I also amplified that idea of a piece of furniture by making the face feel a a little bit more like a dresser that you might find in a bedroom. I knew I wanted the lower half of the kitchen to be kind of dark and grounding, and that only amplified how light and bright everything is up above. So the name of the stone here in my kitchen is called Calicutta Pawanazzo, and it has this beautiful, rich, kind of warm veining of like this amber and brown mixed with harsh black. And I really love strong veined marble that offers a lot of contrast. And I knew I wanted the marble to be on the countertop, to wrap up the wall, and then turn onto itself for this shelf. I don't believe that you should only put decorative objects in your living room and in your dining room. Your kitchen really should be an extension of your home because your objects hold memories and they make your home feel really personal and really layered. One of my absolute favorite features in my home are these doors. It kind of creates this indoor-outdoor living that's almost more Californian than New York. We definitely spend a lot of our time in spring, summer, and fall out here on this terrace. So now that I've shown you the entire parlor floor, I think we should go upstairs and I'll show you one of the most calm and serene spaces in the house. I would say that in my home, one of the spaces that people seem to love the most and was my number one Instagram was this very bathroom. The pink marble is a really special feature and a really special stone. It has a lot of kind of motion and movement and it's really dreamy. I also really love this vintage 1930s Murano light fixture. It has these like beautiful, soft, sensuous curves. I started to see that as I was making these choices, Choices, everything felt a little bit soft. So I started to insert black elements. I made the window frames black, this metal detail that's happening in the fireplace, and I even painted the mirrors that hang over my vanity black, a contrast that really adds kind of visual intrigue and curiosity to a space. So here we are in my family room, which is the perfect place to end this tour because it's where we end almost every day as a family. So if you guys liked some of the design tips that I offered here today, 
Why not pick up a copy of my new book, Live Beautiful, that just published. Thank you so much for touring my Brooklyn home. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?